Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing this very fun look for you as well as I'm going to be showing you how I laid this wig, made the edges because it's a lace wig, somewhat natural. You see that right after this. But I want to talk a little bit about the hair. I got this wig from Best Lace Wig. It is a really beautiful, natural, lightweight wig. It is not completely full lace. The cap is a lace and they have like, you know how they have the little weft sewed in the back, but the front of it is all lace. So I'm going to show you how I pluck it and make it look somewhat natural you know to, to fit me and all of that good stuff so hopefully that will help you out I'm also going to be showing you how I laid my edges and made that look nice and neat right there the majority of this is this wig like I really hardly have anything left out if I lift this up there's nothing right there <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I achieve this please check the description box everything will be listed down below the hair is super soft super silky there was minimal shedding I really like this wig enjoy it now I wanted to show you guys the wig in its natural state exactly what it looks like like I only have it pinned on the side right here you know just to do a little something something that's basically all I did but I'm gonna be pinning this up for my pictures I'm gonna be doing something completely different with this hair for my pictures on Instagram you guys know I like to really do up my pictures on Instagram so please follow me on Instagram and if you want to see what it is that I do to this hair by all means hop on Instagram and you will see the pictures and all of that so enjoy it now because I won't have it like this after this you know for my pictures and stuff like that anyways I think I am rambling to much the hair is super soft lovely hair like I said I ain't gonna talk too much on hair if it's on my head it's good hair that's all you need to know okay I would recommend that you go out and buy this hair if it's on my head I would recommend that you go out and buy it okay I don't do this just for the money all right I mean you, you understand we need to have a trustworthy relationship if we can't have that then what am I doing you see what I'm saying so anyway yeah the makeup if you want to see how I achieve this look and how I laid this hair stick around and keep watching the rest of this video Savannah, I'm coming home, Savannah Okay, so this is the unit and I've already started to do one side of the hair just for the sake of the video because I don't want this to be too long. It does take some time whenever you're plucking a lace unit to make it look more realistic. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and section off the hair just to see the parts that I'm going to be working with because I don't want to pluck too much. So that's the reason I'm doing this. And after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get my tweezers and I like to pluck away from me and towards me you'll see exactly what it is that i'm going to be doing like i comb through the hair i'm not really you know precise with it i just use the tweezers and kind of comb through the amount that i want to pluck and while i'm combing through i'm squeezing the tweezers you know that way i can pluck the hair it's really really hard to explain this but anyway just go ahead and watch the video and i'm gonna show you how i do this it's very very simple very very easy and yeah anybody can do it just take your time and do it and you'll be all right. So I'm finished plucking the hair and I didn't bleach the knots but this is how it looks. This is what I achieved and I think I did pretty darn good for my second attempt of doing this. I didn't bleach the knots. If you really want this to look good, I suggest that you bleach the knots and tint the lace a little bit. But I'm way too lazy for that so I'm just going to be using some of my foundation and I'm going to go ahead and cover up that area right in the front so that when I put it on it looks a little bit more seamless. And that is basically it. After that, let's move on and let me show you how I did my my makeup so the first thing I did was my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly dip brow pomade in chocolate and yeah that's what I'm doing right here 
Okay, so after that, I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut that brow and make it look nice and sharp and really nice and clean and all of that good stuff. Taking my Black Opal Flawless Perfecting Honey Concealer as usual. I'm just going to create a base for my eyeshadow. Here, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan. And I'm going to add this into my crease area as well as set my brow bone area. I'm adding it into my crease because I want to make blending my eyeshadows a lot easier when I get to that part like I'm doing right now. This is the Makeup Addiction Vintage Palette and I'm taking that rusty color and I'm going to go ahead and add that into my crease as my transition color. I love to use a rusty shade with all of my eyeshadows basically. Next I'm taking this dark brown shade and I'm just going to go ahead and define my crease even more with that color. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take my concealer again and I'm going to start to clean up my lid space as well as cut the crease with this because I want this look to be like a cut crease. So that's what I'm basically doing. And I find that doing it this way is really, really easy when it comes to trying to create a cut crease type of look. Next, I'm taking this peachy shade from the same palette and I'm going to go ahead and pat it all over that area. And I'm being very, very careful not to go overboard with this because I do want this to look really nice and clean and sharp. Now it's time for my liner. I'm using the NYC Liquid Liner in black and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a really, really thick line with this liquid liner. Now for the fun part, for the camouflage effect, I'm going to be using the LA Splash Liquid Lipstick in Untamed. And I'm just going to start to create some shapes with this. I really do like how these liquid lipsticks can be used as a liner. So I didn't have a brown liner, so I opted to use this. Here I'm taking the Lime Prime Liquid Liner and I'm just going to start to create the green effect, basically. And then on top of this, I'm going to be taking a green eyeshadow from a Morphe palette just to make it a little bit more on the darker side because I felt like this was a little bit too lime green for me. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that right after this. And to help this look a little bit more camouflagey, I'm gonna be using another Lime Crime liquid liner and this is called Rime. And it is a fine gold glitter liner and I thought that it went really, really nice with this effect that I'm trying to create. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then after that, I'm gonna use another Lime Crime liquid liner and this is called Quill. And I'm just gonna go ahead and darken back up the black areas you know make some cr create some gaps because i lost a lot of the black and yeah after that that's basically it for the liner it's pretty easy <laughs> Remove the tape and let's move on to the face. For my foundation today, I'm using Nutmeg by Black Opal and I'm just gonna go ahead and even out my skin tone with this. So yeah, just sit back and relax and watch me do that. After that, I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige again. I'm just gonna start to highlight the areas on my face that I want to be very bright and pop out and all of that good stuff. And I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender to help me apply this. And I find that a Damp Beauty Blender works really, really nicely with this concealer. Now to set my under eye area, I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan and I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender again to help me, you know, set that area so it does increase and all of that good stuff. And then to bring back some definition to my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up my face. Listen, bronzing is also for us brown skin girls, okay? So get into it. And then I'm taking my MAC Select Share Loose in NC45 and I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face, set the rest of this foundation so nothing moves around or slip or all of that good stuff. But I do find that, you know, as the day go on, this foundation gets really, really oily on me. It's not my fave, but hey, you know, just switching it up for the video. Then I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. Now to add some glow to my face, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. After that, I'm gonna be adding my blush and it's by Coastal Scents and this one is called Radiant. 
Now back to the eyes, going back into that same palette by Makeup Addiction. I'm gonna use that brown shade and start to build on my lower lash line, just to give my lower lash line a bit of color, you know, because it was just looking too plain. <laughs> and then for my tear duct area, I'm gonna be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. These are my lashes, they are also by Makeup Addiction, so yeah. They also have lashes too. I wanted some feathery type lashes, nothing too dramatic like the other lashes that I love to wear because it would just cover up the effect of the camouflage liner and that would not have made any sense, okay? Add your mascara to both your upper and lower lashes. Now I'm using my lash glue and I'm just gonna create some dots right underneath my eyes with some green gemstones, you know, just to make the look even more playful. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. And now to lay this hair. I don't know, I think I did a good job at plucking this hairline. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Right here I'm taking the Gorilla Snot and I'm pulling out some of the hair from out of the lace and I'm just laying it down on the side of my head, on the side of my edges. Anyways, I really like this Gorilla Snot stuff. It's really, really good for us kinky girls hair. You know, it's a strong holding gel and I find that it's really nice and thick and it gets those edges nicely laid. <laughs> And now for the finishing touches for my lips, I'm gonna be using the Dose of Color Liquid Lipstick in Teddy. And it is a shimmery, brownish, burgundy color. I really do like this lipstick. Anyways, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of how I did with this hair. And if you guys know of any really good edge control out there, recommend something to your girl, okay? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and until the next video, bye-bye. Loose cannon, but still it won't fight No need to leave, spend our whole lives Another day in paradise hey, I'll be gone till November hey, Going through the letters that I send her And thinking about the moment that I met her Well, I'll be back in due time, in due time Touchdown, throw off my own two shoes hey, Still the same city I've been used to and all the reckless things that we do Keep us young, they're good signs, they're good signs Take a little more if you need it Voices of the night won't mislead it The tide pulls me in, but it takes slow Gives to the nights we let go And I'm hoping that they figure out It's all about the scenery along the route No fears and no problems These moments are so kind, they're so kind